Please note, this video contains spoilers for Avengers Endgame. Eight months down, four to go. But before I get into this video, an announcement. I have confirmed that the recap flashback of Magical Mystery Cure will be a three-part recap. I wanted to do an animated version with all the songs from that episode, but considering how long that episode was, it will be my hardest project from the recap flashback set. Anyway, let's talk about Avengers Endgame. It's been five months since we saw the end of an era for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. To me, I was glad to see what I considered the best Marvel film, period. But yet, at the same time, I felt a bit of sadness knowing that this is the end of what I call the Avengers era of the MCU. The reason why I said this is because we won't see these actors together again, especially Robert Downey Jr. and Chris Evans. This felt like the film that I was hoping for and they blew me away in many expectations. And like I said, Robert stole the show as Iron Man. Considering that it was his last film, he went all out in a way that makes the first Iron Man film seem weak in comparison. That being said, I think I know why I considered this the peak of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It was the entire climactic battle, the ultimate clash of good versus evil in an epic matter related to cinema, and nearly everyone was there. I've been glued to my seat before in terms of finales, but this one took the cake, as I wanted to see how everything turned out. Avengers! But in the end, it did do something that I never thought it would do. As much as I enjoyed the film, it made my expectations for future Marvel films not as great. I don't think Endgame can be topped at all. Hell, even if Disney did not lose the movie rights to Spider-Man, I wouldn't be as excited for upcoming Marvel films as I used to. Sure, they may have Deadpool now, but it will take a whole lot more than that or Spider-Man to do something on the grand scales of Avengers Endgame. To me, Avengers Endgame was the end for me and the Avengers era of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But to me, that was the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It was everything I was hoping for and that's all I need. If you're looking for this film, it's available on DVD, Blu-ray and digital. I highly recommend you check it out. And in the end, I'm glad I got the chance to talk about it once more. Excelsior! Before we sign out, I need to bring this up since I couldn't with the end of July announcements. Rusi Taylor, voice of Minnie Mouse, died sometime in late July. She was also the voice of Huey, Dewey, Louie, and Webigail in DuckTales, the voice of Teenage Pebbles Flintstone, various characters like Martin Prince on The Simpsons, and she voiced Rose Dust, Cupcake, and Morning Glory on My Little Pony Generation 1. Ten years ago, we lost her husband Wayne Allwine who was the voice of Mickey Mouse. And to me, her death leaves a hole in my heart, regardless if it's Disney, Simpsons, or My Little Pony. To Rusi Taylor, thank you for everything you've done in voice acting. We'll miss you dearly.